Valorant's Twitch streamer accused of dodging and muting whammons. You remember when Ninja got all that shit? He's not the only one. Jason, Jason R. Ruchelski, a former Counter-Strike Go player and full-time Twitch streamer, is under fire for reputedly dodging Valorant games in which whammons are present. He's also defending himself in the worst way possible, saying he can't disrespect whammons if he never interacts with them. Not a good look. Aww. This is the end result of shit like Pound Me Too. And the more you guys double down on that and bitch about it, the worse it's going to get. Because you know, put yourself in his position. Now he's probably like, you see, this shit is why I don't interact with them. Thank you for proving my point. At the start of this week, a number of uh, female professional Valorant players, including Annie and Panini, levied accusation of sexism against Rukelski for allegedly disconnecting from games whenever a Waymans appears, as well as muting female players in Valorant and other games. Well, has he also muted male players? Now, this isn't uh, Rutowski's first brush with these kinds of allegations. Vanessa Panini Emery, a pro Valorant player. Uh, wh why the fuck do you need to use their real names? You know, for, 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 I mean, technically, this guy uses his real name in his screen name, but this, I, I really fucking hate the legacy media for this. If you're known to everybody online as Panini, why the fuck do they need to put this girl's real name in here too? Like this is one habit of the media that needs to die. Because th this this is why people hate them so much. One of the many reasons. You know, a pro Valorant player for esports organization Shopify Rebellion uh, wondered on Twitter who uh, on February twentieth whether folks are going to talk about that one big streamer that mutes whammons in ranked games. She was alluding to Rukelski, who was previously accused of dodging and muting whammons in current year minus uh, four. Panini's new twat blew up and snowballed into a series. So see, now they're just calling her Panini. Why the fuck do we need to know her name is Vanessa Emery if you're just going to continue calling her Panini now? Classic fucking Kotaku. What what value does knowing her name add to this article? Her birth name is Grilled Sandwich. <laughs> okay, well played. Now, Panini's twat blew up and snowballed into a series of accusations from other Valorant players, such as, uh, again, Benita, uh, Benita, Benita. <laughs> I, 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 you know, this was another one, just like the guy before. She uses her name, I guess. Uh, Nov Shadian, uh, who said Rukowski has been doing this since his Counter Strike days. See, you know, you know what this is? This is just jealousy. He's bigger than them, and they can't ride his coattails to success. And they're jealous as a motherfucker. That's what this is about. It's straight jealousy. This, this evil, toxic male won't let us exploit him. Uh, two days later, uh, Cloud9 Valorant Pro, and well, again, Annie Roberts, but uh, I guess in their defense, she uses her name too. Uh, corroborated Panini's claim on Twitter. Uh, and he said more than 50 whammons have had experience that Rukowski is coincidentally disconnecting from a game as soon as a female player joins his team and her voice is heard. Rukowski claims these drops are typically a result of hardware issues in response to which some are calling BS. He wouldn't have to make up these excuses if you guys would, would quit fucking attacking him like that. So Jason R is manipulating his audience and gaslighting them by saying he crashed every time uh, and he said uh, refuses to address the, any allegations as well. Now, that's actually smart on his point. Don't address false allegations. Like, just consider them like you would a troll. Like, my policy is I don't address this shit unless it's actually doing damage to me. Unless he's actually being harmed by any of these allegations, I mean, I'd ignore it too if I was him. Just a bunch of whiny, jealous bitches reeing. That's all this is. Oh, yeah, Rukowski has since responded to allegations on Twitter. He called out Halo Infinite Team Cloud9 for supporting Whammons bashing my wife. Though uh, folks were quick to point out that their issue is not with his wife, but his avoidance of any uh, comments about other Whammons. He also stated on Twitch that the reason he crashes so often is he's on a dual PC stream using Voice Meter Banana, which causes his game to boot up, hang on a loading screen, and break his audio. In effort to make his case, he even showed a clip of what the screen looks like when the crash occurs. Shitaku has reached out to Annie Panini Rukowski for comment. Maybe the most damning part of all this, though, is his disparaging language towards whammons. And it's any wonder that he wants to avoid them. 
In an astonishingly ironic defense against the accusations of misogynies and sexism, he declared, I didn't hear anyone in this fucking server that I apparently fucking crashed because there was a fucking bitch in it. <laughs> yep. He's clearly had enough of these hoes. He also said he might get hated for the rest of his life because he might uh, there might be a fucking girl and indeed a fucking bitch on his team. There are apparently some VODs of him playing Valorant with Whammons on stream, but Andy questioned whether these vid where these videos are. Rukex also saw himself in the foot some rather atrocious comments about how he can't disrespect Whammons because he doesn't interact with or talk to them. I mean, Shitaku is doing their best to make the guy seem bad. But every every time they try to dunk on him, I'm like, fuck, I've, I didn't even know who this guy was. But I'd be interested in watching his streams now. You know, I do not support misogynies. I don't support sexism. I don't support people being rude to my wife for absolutely no reason. Mikowski said, though, it's a bit tough to reconcile these statements with rants in which he openly calls women bitches. So l let's hold them to their own standards. Anytime a woman refers to any man in a derogatory term, there you go, sexist. Twitch is a tough uh, enough environment for Whammons to succeed in as it is. <laughs> yeah, tell that to Amaranth and Pokimane. Oh, my God. No. You know, just, just cut it out with all these fucking lies. You know what this is? They're only looking at the top streamers. Because, yes, like all, almost all the top streamers are men. But then you go a little bit down into like the, the upper middle class of streamers. And those are almost all women. So, so with, with a, if you're a dude on Twitch, you're either at the very top or at the very bottom. And there's not that many at the very top. But those that are are the biggest ones. And that's all these guys see. And they never want to talk about all the Twitch thoughts in, uh, in fucking ASMR and hot tubs and just chatting. All these uh, the, these whammons that make millions of dollars just shaking their tits on camera. But it's so hard to be a whammons on Twitch. There are consequences when men with significant followings avoid whammons and don't treat them normally as fellow players. Maybe you should have thought about that before you went all in on uh, Pound Me Too. There's consequences to supporting false accusations and destroying men's lives for offending someone's feelings. You did this to yourselves. Sadly, this is all depressingly familiar. Not only has Rukowski been accused of dodging whammons once before, but this situation recalls a time in current year minus four when, uh, again, Tyler Ninja Blevins, do we need to know his real name? That said, he wouldn't play games with whammons for fear of the rumors might circulate. Ninja reversed his position a year later, but that uh, predicament and the new renewed accusations that Rukowski deliberately was playing with whammons underscore the continued sexism on Twitch. And the more you guys keep pushing this, the more the more other men are just going to say, "Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm done. I'm not dealing with this shit."